welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Katie Stone, and this is Stone Second Sense. Now, today I have a little news for you that you've probably already been expecting, and well, here it is. Let's dive in. Gavin Gifford's gun control group cheers looming Biden administration executive gun controls. Now, reported on August 1st that Senator Richard Blumenthal urged the Biden administration to seize on the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act as a means by which to enact further gun controls executively. Under the terms of the act, the Biden administration is expected to take action to expand background checks. Now, sure, you're thinking, why does it matter if they expand background checks, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you don't understand is that all the information that they should need for anything like this to find out if someone is a felon or not a felon or able to have firearms or not able to have firearms should be in the NICS system. And if it's not, well, then it probably doesn't matter or someone's not putting the right information to the NICS system, which is their fault. Anyways, not the fault of the American people, but let's continue. The New York Times reported that the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act contained a provision that allows an expansion of background checks via a reclassification of what constitutes as a firearms dealer. Did you catch that word reclassification? Just put a pin in that, All right? Just right there. This provision would shift the definition of firearms dealer so as to include not only those who make their livelihood selling guns, which would be federal firearms license holders, FFLs, things like that. So have legal firearms licenses from the government, but it would also include anyone, anyone who earns a profit from selling firearms as well. So no longer are we just requiring FFL dealers and those who are legal firearms dealers to have to go through these background checks. But now it's going to constitute anyone who earns a profit from selling firearms as well. So we're talking private sales of firearms, which could mean your cousin, your brother, your neighbor, stuff like that. Um, but how would they get that information for a transfer like that? And how would that work? Let's continue. Expanded background checks leads to a gun registry as they are not enforceable without such a gun registry. Andrew Clyde spoke with Brian Arp News about the anticipated executive action and noted that ironically, the Firearm Owners Protection Act in 1986 prohibits the creation of a gun registry. Now, most of you probably already know, yes, in 1986, there was something that put in place, which is the Firearm Owners Protection Act, to prohibit the creation of a gun registry. Because we all know what a gun registry does. A gun registry is like, puts little red pins on houses and they're like, oh, these are the people that have firearms. So if you ever want to do anything bad, the government would never. But I mean, if they did, it would be like, oh, here, 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 here are the people that have guns, in case you're wondering. Anyone else see a problem with that? For one, it, it's illegal. I mean, did you not catch those words reclassification, shift the definition? Ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much what the ATF has been doing so many times. I mean, we have the ghost guns thing going on where they change the definition of frame or receiver and now that's a whole ordeal and the same with the pistol brace because they now change the definition of that and yeah, anyone else see a problem here or, or maybe like how all of these dots are connecting now? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist at all. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that what we have here is you give an inch, they take a mile. That's how gun control has worked over so many years. And we're seeing it unfold in front of our face. Reclassification, shift of the definition. You give them a little bit to work with and they take it and wrap it around and they make it what they want to be by changing the definition or reclassification of something. Think it through. I want to know your thoughts on this. Am I just crazy? Do I, do I, am I crazy? I mean, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What are your thoughts on private civilians selling firearms to others? Is, is that something that should have a background check go through it? And do you think that that's going to lead to a registry? Or do you think that it's just going to be all great and we can trust the government? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button and please have a great day.